Joe Rogan may have helped make the carnivore diet trendy, but it's nothing new. High-protein, low-carb diets have popped in and out of pop culture for over 50 years. But why are we so obsessed with protein? And what impact do these diets have on our bodies and the planet? From the carnivore diet to Atkins, paleo, and keto, high-protein diets have long romanticized meat. But while some proponents of these diets claim humans evolved as hyper-carnivorous apex predators, there's no conclusive evidence our ancestors ate only meat. And in fact, an increasing body of evidence suggests our ancestors were more gatherers than hunters. The desire to eat how cavemen ate is part of a broader growing fascination with so-called natural living guided in part by current political narratives around health and identity. The promotion of high-protein, meat-heavy diets has increasingly intersected with right-wing politics, hypermasculinity, and white nationalist ideologies. Figures like Jordan Peterson and influencers in the alt-right space have championed carnivorism as a rejection of liberal dietary norms, with meat consumption framed as a symbol of strength, traditional masculinity, and resistance to perceived globalist agendas. The meat industry has helped amplify this narrative, with marketing campaigns and online meat flu Influencers. But North Americans aren't in need of more protein. On average, they're already eating around twice as much as necessary, and meat-heavy diets can elevate cholesterol, increasing heart disease risk. Studies have linked the carnivore diet to kidney stones, the paleo diet to neurological issues in mice, and high red meat consumption to higher diabetes and cancer risks. High-protein diets do often lead to some short-term weight loss, in part simply because it requires omitting so many foods, leading to decreased calorie consumption. But like with most diets, meat-heavy diets aren't likely to be sustainable over time. Maybe that's why we see the high-protein diet reappearing with new names and slightly new rules every few years. And whether people stick to them or not, meat-heavy diets certainly aren't sustainable for the environment. Methane-belching ruminants like cows and lamb have a notably higher climate impact than diets containing more or entirely plants. If we're going to combat climate change, we need to be eating less meat, not more. Read the full story on sentientmedia.org.